At the beginning of the movie, we see a truck inside which 14 immigrants were being brought, all of whom were probably Mexicans and wanted to sneak into the US. Among them was a man named Moises who held a toy in his hand, which his son gave him. The toy suddenly began to make a sound, and he did not know how to turn it off. Then Banda, who was sitting in the same row, said that there would be a button on the tummy, press it. It did so, and the toy stopped making sounds. Suddenly, the truck broke down in the middle of the road. The driver got down and checked on Njin, but she did not understand anything. Then he came back and asked if there was a mechanic among us. Moses had been a mechanic by profession, so he came out and checked the engine, but the engine was not in good condition, without any equipment at all. So the driver then asked all the immigrants to get off the truck and pointed towards the US. Now they had no choice, they had to cross the desert on foot to reach America. America is the dreamland for these people, and about 1,500,000 people enter illegal America every year from Mexico. Meanwhile, Sam, who was walking around the same border with his dog Tracker, stopped to hunt rabbits. Sam was also American, and he hated immigrants, people who entered his country illegally. The immigrants were alerted by the sound of the gunshot and hid in the cactus. As soon as they felt that they were now safe, they stopped to rest. Musas notices that a man is hitting the line on a girl named Adela, and the girl was getting something uncomfortable from all of this. Moses went to them and divided the man's attention so that he would not cross his limits. When they thought he was safe, they resumed their journey. Sam was also driving in the same area. On the way, he met a border patrol agent who asked him if he had a permit. Sam asked him if he would need a permit to hunt rabbits. The agent replied that he did not need a permit. He told the agent that he had told the police earlier and that he had seen some illegal immigrants infiltrating from here. He asked the agent to take some action against illegal immigrants, but the agent said that he did not know anything about all this, and he again saw his way to Sam, saying good luck for the hunt, but Sam ignored his good luck. After a while, he once again saw the traces of immigrants. When he found someone's dropped handkerchief, he picked up his rifle and started looking for them. He sniffed the tractor with a handkerchief and then sent it to find the immigrants, by which time the group had split into two. Some were a little ahead, and some were a little behind. Adele and Moses were in the back group, Moses and his group had seen Sam before he did, and they immediately hid, but Sam saw the other group, which was driving ahead, and he took out his sniper rifle from the truck and killed them one by one. After killing everyone, he said welcome to the United States, but surprisingly, even after this, Sam did not feel bad about those people. The same group of Moses started running in the other direction, then the tracker started going in the direction of the other group. When Sam looked with his sniper rifle, he saw his group of Moses on the other side of the hill. The dog and its owner quickly got into the truck and started moving in the same direction. Sam got out of the truck because the road ended, and he sent the tracker to find them. Sam also followed behind the tracker, with Moses and the people in his group still running. They knew that the tracker was not far from them, and then the tracker caught a man who was walking far behind the group. The tracker made her miserable, cutting her off, and Adela wanted to help the man, but Moses stopped her because, by now, it was too late. Now the tracker began to run after the remaining immigrants. Now that only four people were left alive in the group, they started climbing the hill to escape from the trekker. Dog also tried to climb the hill, but he could not reach the top. He came back and started looking for a new way to climb up. The same Sam climbed another hill, he could see from there, and his group and the trekker also found another way to climb the hill. Now the group had come to a place where they had to jump from one rock to another. Moses Adela and the third man jumped comfortably, but the fourth man was nervous. He took some time, but as soon as he saw the tractor coming behind him, he jumped out of the cracker. He did not jump properly and hung on the rock. Moses tried to help him, but Sam shot him. Sam also fired at Moses but missed the target. But Sam put the tractor back in the truck and then started looking at the map. He sent the tractor behind them again and started following them by driving himself. As soon as he came to the valley, he stopped the truck and started looking at the map from the back. Moses Adela and the third immigrant could see Sam in his truck from the side of the valley. They were hiding there, they started going the other way, and Sam got out of the truck and started moving in the same direction. Survivors saw the tracker approaching from in front of them, and they tried to avoid the tracker by climbing up into the valleys, and their effort was also successful. But the tracker had already given Sam the idea of their location, so Sam also started following them. When the third immigrant looked back, he saw Sam. Sam took out his rifle to kill him, but in a panic, he lost his grip, and he fell down. The tracker ran up to the immigrant and began to eat him. Sam pulled the dog apart and then shot the immigrant killing him instantly, but Moses was still hiding behind the rocks. Suddenly his toy began to ring. He closed the toy in a rush, but Sam knew they were nearby. Sam told the tracker that we'd catch them later because it was going to be dark anyway. Moses and Adela walked a little more, then they decided that now they should take a break. That's when we learned that Adela never wanted to leave her country, but her family thought she could live a better life in America. 
and now the man who came with him was also killed, and Moses told him that his family was waiting for him in America. And Moses also told me that earlier, with his family, he also lived in this illegal US, but due to an accident, he was sent to a prison in Mexico. Before Moises went to jail, his son had given him a toy with a teddy bear. He wanted to give his son his toy back at any cost. The next day, Adela was trying to find out the location of Sam and the tracker. And from the top of the hill, he saw Sam's truck. He told Moses this, the same tracker suddenly got up and started running in one direction. Then Sam started following him. And when they reached the top of the hill, they saw a toy, too, in the middle of the snakes. Sam realized that he had been made an owl. He saw from his rifle that they were near his truck. Moses opened the door with the truck's antenna, and they got into the car before the tracker arrived. Before the tracker could do anything, the truck drove away, and they were both walking happily, but their happiness was not long. Because just then Sam shot at the truck and Adela was shot in the shoulder. This distracted Moses, and as soon as he was distracted, their truck overturned. At the same time, Moses got out of the truck, and looking around at Sam, he saw Sam coming down the hill in the distance. Because of this, he brought Adela out of the truck and also took the first aid kit with him. Moses and Adela began to move forward, with the tracker behind them on the other side and Sam behind the tractor. The same way, they both stopped near a large cactus, and in the first aid kit, Moses got a bandage and a player gun. He then bandaged Adela's wound and left her there with the cactus, but Adela was approached by Sam and Trekker. But then Mousies fired the flare gun, and they both went after Mauritius because Sam felt that Adela didn't have much time anyway. The same Moses ran into the cactus field, and he was trying to cross it. Just then, the tracker also ran and came close to him, and as soon as he came closer, he put another player in the flare gun and shot directly into the tracker's mouth. Now Sam was also behind the track, and by the time he heard her cry, the tracker was already dead. Sam started crying when he saw him, and his anger increased even more. He started screaming very fast, saying that now you will not survive. Moses saw a border patrol vehicle, and he tried to get her attention by shouting, but to no avail. Then Sam shot at him as soon as he got the chance, but the bullet hit the cactus, and Moses began to run away from him. But then Sam shot at him again, but he missed again, after which Moses climbed the hill to escape from Sam. And he hid from her until Sam came to the edge of the hill and stopped, after which Sam looked around. But just then Moses pushed him from behind to Akar Sam, and he took him from the hill and jumped. Now both men were down, and Sam was badly hurt, but Moses seemed fine. When they both turned their eyes a little, Sam's rifle was lying there. Both of them ran towards the rifle, and this time the rifle hit Moises' hand. Sam begged for his life, and Moises decided not to shoot him but to leave him to die. Because his leg was broken and he had zero chance of getting out of here, Mosa went back to Adela, and he picked her up and carried her on his back for hours. By now the day was over, and Moses could see the lights of some of the buildings, which gave the impression that they had reached the city. Only two of the immigrants managed to reach their destiny, and that's what this movie ends up being.